The number one challenge on integrating existing technologies with uh, our whole new raft of renewable technologies coming through will definitely be uh, having a skilled, trained and competent workforce. We're seeing a huge growth in solar PV, uh, battery storage systems, and obviously electric vehicle charge points, as well as the, the integration of load control systems as well. One of the common myths is that the, the electricity grid isn't going to be able to, to cope with the increased demands uh, for electric vehicle charge points and the full electrification of the built environment. And one of the key methods of managing that is through load control, making sure that within our buildings, our devices are configured and communicate so that demands are balanced. And it's really important to get the, uh, the end user, uh, the, the consumers and the producers uh, on board uh, and fully understanding this technology. Unfortunately, there are a few blockers uh, to the deployment of low carbon tech. Sporadic funding schemes such as the feeding tariff, uh, the smart export guarantee and the boiler upgrade scheme have been fantastic in getting the early adopters on board. Uh, but when these disappear, it also creates a little bit of confusion and frustration for customers that may not know the right point to enter the market for these. Additionally, access to uh, fully trained and registered uh, electrical installers is really key. With an increasing demand, sometimes it's very difficult to find uh, an installer that has the capacity to be able to come and deliver these installations. And also where they are pinched, uh, it could also put pressure on installers to, to do things a little bit too rapidly. Responsibility for solving the retrofitting and the integration of all these devices really lays with a, with a multitude of parties. You've got the manufacturers whose technologies are ever evolving. Uh, we have uh, an ever changing wiring regulations, but recently things are becoming much better. You have good working groups. We have standards developments and code of practices being put together. The Electrician Plus model is really important to make sure we have a fully skilled, competent and trained workforce going forward. And this relies on having uh, the, the apprenticeship uh, qualifications or an experienced worker assessment to have the underlying uh, core competencies and skills. And then on top of that, you build the uh, the solar PV training and qualifications, battery storage, uh, heat pump or EV charge point or whatever the technology may be. We would love to see more support from uh, the Department for Business and Trade and Skills England or their respective departments going forward in the devolved uh, nations and also uh, devolved local authorities uh, to put more, uh, more credence on the apprenticeship route uh, as opposed to putting people through technical colleges. Additionally, we, we would like manufacturers to, to be clearer on the guidance that they provide to uh, electricians and the workforce and the support, and where deficiencies are found in products, that these are addressed in a timely manner. A rapid rollout of net zero is obviously what everyone would like to achieve, but this can't come at the expense of safety.